Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you Wednesday, 18 Jan. Sort of halfway through the halfway through the third week of January. And let's, uh, we got this crude oil chart here to start. Just taking a peek at these um, 81.50 highs. Today the high has been 33. I have a feeling we're going to peak above these um, 50 highs. This is a delayed price. It's actually 81.07 right now in the real world. Um, but uh, something to keep an eye on. It's probably a fade um, first time, so you want to maybe fade this um, up towards 82. Um, there will be some stops through 81.50. So it may drag itself up to 82, but we're going to actually sell some oil, which is unusual for us. Just on the stretch, right? This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven straight days higher. Uh, so keep an eye on oil today. Yields. Uh, ECB news yesterday dragged yields down. Look at that Italian yield, 387. It's creating a lot of pain. Um, Death March to 5 ended at 474. Now we're basically 100 basis points lower. Uh, you can pick this thing up at 360, between 360 and 340. Um, Italy is Italy. Same thing, US. Uh, we will, we're going to actually look for a break of 342 and fade that at 335 um, next time down in, in the 10s. So we'll be selling bonds effectively buying the yield. You can't really buy the yield, but whatever, selling tens when the yield gets down to 335. Aussie, uh, we talked about yesterday, this looks like it's going to be the high uh, for the week. The high put in early Sunday, 7019. Uh, we've already traded 7019.4. You could do a cheeky sell here uh, and pray, but it looks like this is going to break, and it looks like we're going to see sort of 70, 50. Um, so be careful with this. You know where your stop is. Your stop's at 21, so don't be a fool. Um, what else? Uh, Euro sterling. We know this level, um, 87.71. A week ago, Monday, we were selling 87.80s as a break trade. 71 was the low. We had a nice little, uh, you could see all the break traders selling this. This five-minute bar is big momentum trading break traders who, who hit the bid at 70, gapped to 62. That's an eight-point gap after a 100-point move lower. This is professional momentum traders. Um Doesn't look like it's going to work for them, actually. So 87.70. Their stops are going to be around 80, 85, 90. Um, so maybe the cheeky sale here is fading those stops, 87.80, 87.95. We're not playing with this. We were short yesterday. Um, so that paid for us. But we were also long, and we still are um, long Euro Swiss. So effectively, we have Sterling Swiss on. Um, and this has gone okay for us, not great, uh, you know, sort of 50 points in the money, even though Euro Sterling dropped 100. Why? Because Euro Swiss shit the bed, um, traded all the way down to 36. Sorry. And for whatever reason, my... On this computer, my presets aren't set, but just trust me that the 200-day moving average is at 33, uh, which is why Euro Swiss held. So we're long Euro Swiss against some Euro Sterling, so it's actually Sterling Swiss. So our stop is at break even in Sterling Swiss, and so even if Euro Swiss Euro Sterling goes higher, we also think Euro Swiss is going to go higher, and we'll have to see what Sterling Swiss does for us. Um, Dollar yen, obviously BOJ, uh, didn't tighten anymore. We went up to 130, 
was the big breakdown point. So we, we crushed through that. We're still at 130.80. Um, I'm not really sure what to do with dollar yen. We're just leaving it alone. You can buy, um, you can buy gold 18.85.90 if you see it. Middle of nowhere now. All cross yen is higher. We had this thing at a real nice, nice level, right? Um, One thirty-seven eighty-eight, three hundred points higher. But we took profit on that. It's fine. Eurocad, not much to talk about. Um, doing nothing. One of the things we do like is Aussie CAD today. So we're looking at this Aussie CAD. We are selling this, um, even though it looks wildly bid. We're going to sell this at ninety-four Canadian dollars. Um, oil's higher. We think CAD, Aussie's getting stretched, and we think a safer way of selling Aussie rather than versus a dollar is against the Canadian dollar. So we'll be selling Aussie CAD up towards ninety-four CAD. Dollars are has turned. Equities have not turned. So not sure what to do with that. Crude higher, Euro Norway lower. Sleepy sleepy. Not much to do with that. Dollar max. Stretchy stretchy. Um a lot of news about cartels these days. Um it's no joking matter, even though we joke about Sinaloa all the time. But this is getting a little stretchy. Um we're not sure what to do with this, but oil's higher. Trade is through the roof. Uh, cocaine trade aside, uh, with dollar with Mexico, um, but this is getting quite stretched. So careful there. Aussie Kiwi. We actually played this yesterday. We sold this um, through eighty yesterday. Just played around with it. A couple twenty point. 20 point round trippers. We don't really care for Aussie Kiwi. Um, but again, we were just looking for ways to short Aussie, uh, but not against the dollar. Ethereum through the roof still. We have some lonely bids down at 1500. We're trying to add to our Ethereum longs. It's not working. Um, shit's staying bid. Bitcoin, which we don't trade, also staying bid. Um, what else? Let's just look at stocks. Man, staying bid stocks. So it's kind of like this weird risk on. Everyone's waiting for um, for for risk to turn, but it's just not turning. So you know, don't fade this, right? Don't fade stocks. Everyone's kind of short stocks. Be real careful. If PPI today in the U.S., which is uh, 2.30 p.m. Swiss time, comes in super hot, um, that may create a little bit of a downdraft. But otherwise, shit looks bid, right? It is what it is. Vol's contracting. It's staying at the highs. Um, look at Aussie through 70.20. Uh, all signs are that this is bid. Um, ECB is saying we're too pussy to raise rates aggressively, so lower rates around the world. Makes this shit bid. U.S. rates now three four seven seven, uh, heading towards that three four five. Whether you like it or not, all systems, all all indicators are like this is asset positive. So don't bother fading it. Um, just wait for the signals to change. Anyway, not a lot for us to do this morning. We're obviously watching this Aussie CAD. Um, we are not playing in Euro Sterling. Looks like these break traders are going to take it in the ass here. Um, look for these guys to have to buy shit back between 80 and 90. Uh, maybe you want to sell Euro Sterling back up at 88.32. I don't know. Um, second time. Like, remember last week we sold through 80. We were with these guys. This morning we were not. Uh, anyway, we're watching Aussie CAD this morning. We're a little bit um, 
concerned with the gold price, and but we're not going to try and buy this early. We will try and buy this around 1890, 1885, and then we're going to wait for um, wait for CPI. Also, I guess oil is getting stretched. We're going to try and sell oil around 82 bucks. That's all we got for you today. I don't even know if this audio is going to work. Um, anyway, good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.